Dykes on Disc, Ella, Chapter 23, Return to O-Town. The drive back to Orlando from Decatur, Georgia, was a quick one. It only took seven hours for Ella and Gabby to be cruising into Orlando by way of Highway 50. They were on their way to Mom's house. Linda, Ella's mom, welcomed them with open arms. So did Sue, Ella's dog. Linda thought of Sue as her grandson, but he was Ella's boy. Though Gabby was perfectly happy to share Ella's bedroom, she did not want to sleep with a dog. She wanted a room of her own, which would be her place to write and plan, dog-free. Not that Gabby had anything against dogs. She just didn't want to share intimate space with a girl and her dog. She got it, a room of her own, with her new woman right next door. This was heaven. Mom's house had a yard for gardening, and a huge tree in its center, which housed a myriad of forest life. There were lizards, birds, and squirrels for feeding, and nature porn. There, too, was an idyllic garden with a place to sit and partake of God's little plant. Gabby had her weed, the plant that kept her sane and social. Mom had her beer, wine, and rum. Gabby was so grateful that Linda understood about medical marijuana. Cannabis had been around for years. Years and years, how did people forget about the healing powers of this God-given plant? Gabby didn't know, but she wanted to be part of the movement to wake them up. They had been snowed. The American people had been lied to by their government. That was the hurtful part. And why would not the government, when shown their error, say, Snap! Our bad! And fix it! Is that too easy? Yes. Becky had been bitten by the bud, and she had it bad. To be continued. Hey! Get up, stand up. Stand up for your life. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your life. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the.